thoughts on episode 3 of season 2 of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. <laughs> oh, another, another classic episode, wasn't it, Warwing? Another classic one. <laughs> Quite apt, as today it was the Coach's Classic. <laughs> I mean, we've had Winter Classic, we've had Heritage Classic, we've had Centennial Classic, and now we get... Coach is classic. But, what? Oh, I forgot, stay in series. Yeah, but that doesn't fit the bill, Wildling, in terms of the, the fee, you get the drift. I know, because you were featured in the very first one, weren't you, against Bailey? Who won? You won. <laughs> yeah, so, straight away in the episode, we set, you know, we set up that, obviously, if you just heard it's going to be, um, this special game where the, every every year at this at epic we learn every year the coaches and the kids like get to play in like a in like a sort of like an exhibition uh, game. And, ooh, doesn't it look quite brutal? It really, really does. It looks like a, I mean, it just literally you feel like the coach got unfair bonded. And Alex, Alex once again, because Edward Epic is watching like some footage from Par past years and Alex once again she's been literally just been brilliant so far um in this series this season she literally has she's literally just literally been mixed, literally doing everything that I would say um so far that's what she's been doing um and in essence she does my favorite line which is adults cr crashing kids surely that's got to be be illegal <laughs> Am I right or am I right, Wild Wing? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's just, cause it just can't, this can't be right. I mean, the adults thrashing the kids about, literally. It, it, it sort of reminds me of what we saw in the icebreaker back in, we, back in the fir first episode where it just gets very physical, very um, no, no bars. Literally just, uh, just, I just, it was just, I don't know, hard to te tell, wasn't it? Just, just, that's like, does Coach Cole not recognise the, the, what the meaning of health and safety is? Or does he, does he not know that he has a duty of care to these kids? I mean, I know he's focused on hockey, making them the best of the best, but he does, he's supposed to have a duty of care to these children and making sure they don't literally get life threatening injuries. It's one of them! I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Right, so the idea is, is ten kids will get chosen, apparently it's chosen at random. Bollocks! Bollocks to that, Wild Wings. Random, my ass. Um, And one of the kids that gets chosen is, of course, Coach Cole's son, Jace, who this week we kind of know, actually, you're not completely anti-hockey than you than you seem to be giving us the profession, isn't it? Because um, we learned that he did actually play in a previous coaches classic. So clearly the kid, the kid does have a love of hockey, but clearly what we've learned as he bonds with Sophie is um, the fact that obviously Coach Carl's putting all the pressures on is kind of bustling in on something that he, li that he likes. Is sort of making him lose the love and the spirit of the game. So, parents, here's a lesson for you: stop muscling in on your kids' kids' um, passions, all right? Because otherwise, they won't love them anymore, right? So, just stop muscling in, leave them alone. They've, just be thankful they've managed to find something they love, okay? But obviously, coach goes knock them off head. So we have to be like a on, you know, and then obviously the question of, hokey, of who's getting the last spot was kind of like a hokey cokey. Because that gold jersey kept being put, put on, off, on, off. <laughs> yeah, put the right, right leg in, right leg out, in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Yeah, hey, hey, okay, you got to turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, you got to finish off. Oh, oh, it. Oh, shake it. Oh, oh okay, you're going to be knees bent on stage. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> we can't do the full song, we'll be here, we'll be here all night while wing. But you can be, 
This is the first time I've seen Kate being right over here to Evan. I go, go, Jace. So I go, Evan. Come on, I'm only about to Jace! Because <laughs> Evan got a little bit sort of upset that um he wasn't picked. But it's not all about you! Alright? So we can see, really, can't we, that um Evan really is sort of being all about me, me, me this, this, this season. He's not really focusing on the team. No, so I did, we did think this could maybe happen. Evan's self-interest would want to bubble up to the surface a bit more and sort of want to take dominance over the rest of uh, his priorities to the team. So we'll see how that progresses. Um, what I love about the whole je the, uh, the, the, the debacle of who's got good, who's getting the last spot with the MLJ, what I love is that it managed to unite both Coach Carl and Alex together. Because Alex doesn't want Evan to play in the game because she thinks he'll literally get hurt. Coach Cole doesn't want Evan to get playing the game because um, he wasn't chosen by random. And so they actually both have this rare opportunity. I know, I know, I know, show your shock face. I know, shock supreme. They actually have a common goal. They actually, we've actually found something to unite Coach Cole and Alex together. Uh, you know, I mean, why? I mean, why? Who would have thought? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought? Would have thought it? You know, really? I mean, I know. Just literally, who would have thought that? Um. But yeah. So. <laughs> Although they, 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 their common goal, the, the, them, them working together, it doesn't last for very, very long. No, it doesn't last very long. Because by the end of the episode, they do end up hate each other. Again. <laughs> so, yeah. So, surprise, surprise. Um, yeah. So, we'll come on to the game in a moment. But, first of all, and I think we kind of should have done a disclaimer at the beginning of the show while we, before we got started. We do not, under any circumstances, condone gambling. Because that's what we got in, in this episode. So, the others... Um, because they got all given these care packages when they got all this candy. And <gasps> what are all those counsellors that try to take it off them? <gasps> she needs to go and fuck herself. No, actually, what we need to do is shove a great big, great big box of Cadbury's down her, of Cadbury's heroes down her throat and see how she likes it then. Candy not be allowed on her says, give these kids a break. We were still traumatised after last week's pizza bo bo box palama. Give them a break! The lights are flicking up every now and then. Piss off! However, she did, but she did actually close because of what? If I pretend I didn't see it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so the other, so the other, so the others of the ducks basically, um, so actually, let's let's clear up who actually got involved, shall we? The little miscreants, the gap. Eh. Let's bring it up. Let's go into detail who it was. So we had. Da -da 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 -da. So we had Coop, who was one of them. Maya, who was one of them, and who was the other one? Uh, is it Sam? Yes, thank you. Yeah, so Coob, Maya, and Sam, they all decided to take gambling, take little tape to take bets on who's going to win the game, whether it's the kids or the coaches. Now, initially, um, Coob and Sam, they were going to bet on the coaches to win. But then when Maya told them, well, actually, you've got bear odds betting on the kids to win, because that way you would then get to keep the stock. So uh, they decide, right, well, have one take bets on the kids. So when the kids lose, we get all the candy. And uh, despicable behaviour. If Coach Carl wasn't so focused on his ego and actually pay attention to what was going on in the, in the cab, he might have had a better control on it because he just let this happen under his own watch without even knowing. It's like... I just literally, I was literally was horrified when we were watching this. It's like, oh my god, I cannot believe we are condoning this. We're letting the kids gamble. 
just dread dreadful, while we dreadful. Honestly, we do not condone gambling under any circumstances. So basically, they have this massive pile, and unsurprises, like, should we have a little quick, quick nibble of one of them? Should we have a quick nibble of one of them? And that, of course, later on turns into what well, eating the whole pack, whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hmm, no surprises, and surprises. So that then leaves them a little dilemma. So for the whole game, you've got Coob, Meyer and Sam literally trying to root for the coaches so that they don't have to pay everyone back. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh. I'm not surprised that they ended up up in, um, Try to eat the stock and end up being burned. I'm not surprised because they are kids. Let's face it, kids and candy, not a good combo. It's like a set. It's like a certain polar bear and Krispy Kremes. Yeah, don't don't because it's a bad because it's because it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, you you know who we mean. You you came and gate crashed last week's show. You know who we mean. <laughs> yeah, you know you know who we mean. Oh dear, so I wasn't surprised. One. One bit. Uh. <laughs> so, should we now get on to the game? So, the game itself was ended up being commentated by um, Rick Eisen, who is a very famous um, American television journalist for the NFL um, network. And he also hosts a daily sports radio show called The Rick... The Rick the Rich Aus Eisen Show. Um, has he been involved in the NHL? I don't know. Has he been involved in the NHL? Because he is kind of like wondering what I don't know why I'm being why I'm why I'm here here. But apparently I'm being paid, so uh -huh. it's a bit odd to get an NFL commentator to come and do some hockey. Do you remember the NHL? Not too sure. Anyway, bear it. No. Oh, they had during the interview. One of the interview appearance, they had um, Nick brought in to be all to come and say hi. But he was just so starstruck. <laughs> that was quite a bit awkward, wasn't it? That was a bit awkward. <laughs> oh. So the coaches' classic go goes on, and as unsurprisingly, the coaches are literally thrashing the kids. And I was thinking. Oh, well, it's another Mighty Ducks tradition. Because we all know in my Ducks, my Ducks tradition, you have to always have one game where the kids get rawly thrashed. We saw it last season when they were the Dope Barbers. When they were the Dope Barbers. They've not had their thrashing as the Ducks yet, have they? No, that will come. That will come. Um, so when it was like 12, what was it, 12-4 going to the final frame, were we? 12-4, ah, uh, well, it's just another Mighty Ducks tradition. <laughs> so here's season two, Scott, version of it. And then Coach Cole decides, well, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to play with the kids for the last period, just because they're being really up. Like, it's like, what, 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 what? Is, is, is that legal? Is that legal? Or is this you trying to prove to us that you actually do have a heart? Yeah, what it actually was is he was trying to get Jace to actually be be folk to play the game properly and actually be, because uh, oh my god, did he have a face on him? I wonder if, J if Jace literally just looked like a resting bitch face like the whole whole game. Um, literally, whenever he had the pocket, just refused to make the make the shot. So Coach Cuff all right, I'll come on the kids' side, right? They have no choice. But it's like, for God's sake! It's like, you're embarrassing me, stop it! It's like, if I was in the Jason position, do you know what I would have done? I don't care if you and my dad, I would have to get, I would, I would literally would fire the puck at you. I would. That's, because like, seriously, stop it, you're bad, you're embarrassing me, for God's sake! Back it in! Uh, and speaking of embarrassing parents, obviously, um, I asked boys in their opinions about ever knowing to play, obviously it upset him, they got into a little tiff, and that's, the game's going on, you see them in the, in the end stands, and they're just trying to, and obviously, Alex managed to make amends, and everything has to record it. 
for future reference. I should be aware of that, shouldn't I? If I, if, as, as, if I ever get that with my niece one day. Yeah, I need to be careful about that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Kids and the wonders of their technology. They can use it to our ba their advantage. Even to tr even to try and make... Try and make amends and everything. Mm, so I need to be aware of that those high while be in the future. Yeah, when she's in her teens. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. Um. Now, I did wonder at some point was this going to end in tears? And unsurpri and unsurprisingly, it did end in tears because while the coaches actually ended up getting injured so badly that he's going to have to take some time out. So. That means they're coached down. So, guess who fills the slot? It's Alex! Because, unsurprisingly, all things return back to normal. Alex and Coach Cole, big we want to know about how he's running the camp. And so, Coach Cole's like, well, do you think you can do any better? And Alex is like, yeah. So, obviously, he's like, right, well, okay, you got the job. So... <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh, that's not going to end well, is it? That's not going to end well. Because if you think Alex has been difficult as a, as, a, as a camp dorm supervisor, wait to see what you're going to be like as a coach, mate, all right? As we saw in la the last season. So you just, you've got no idea what you just let yourself in for. <laughs> and that sort of ends the episode, which I thought was quite, quite funny. Because now... Coach Carl and Alex are literally just going to bring this, this this tension literally out onto the ice. And it's going to just... <laughs> it's going to end up quite hilarious and hilarious and we can't wait to see it happen. Now, interesting to point out, back to Evan, a bit how he's kind of being all, uh, all for himself. He's slowly, he's slowly not realising that he's creating distance between him and his friends. Because we saw at the end, didn't we? Before making him a love triangle. I don't like it while well, we I don't like love triangles. It's bad on how to watch them on curry. But we saw that obviously Sophie and Jace were starting to get a little bit friendly. Yeah, towards one of the work with yeah, a little bit friendly getting a little bit friendly. Um so you can see Eva was getting a little bit of jersey there, wasn't he? Yep. Just a just a little just a little bit, just a little bit. But hey, if you good? If you go a bit all about you, 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 then unfortunately your friend's going to go elsewhere. <laughs> but I thought, oh, but I thought that was in, that was in, that was interesting because I ever done Sophie in a relationship? I don't know, I, I, I can't keep track while we're, I can't keep track. I'm, 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 I don't know where they are in terms of relationship levels. Are they, are, are they in one or not? Or are they just friends? I, 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 I don't know, I can't keep up. And now we've got a love trial for me, so... It'll be interesting to see how that develops. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Oh, just in case anyone was wondering about the gamblers, they got, they got, uh, they, uh, they had got, they got uh, rescued from Nick, who brought all his candy in, and he said, and which wasn't enough to pay everyone back, because obviously we ended, because obviously we had to abandon the game in the end, didn't we, because of that injury. So unfortunately, nobody won. So you have to give, so all bets are off. You have to give the candy back. So Nick came to the rescue in the end. <laughs> But I just could I just could not believe what we were watching though. I mean, honestly, we do not condone gambling under any circumstances. We don't con we don't condone a lot of things here. We don't condone we do not condone gambling. We don't condone drugs. We don't condone smoking. We don't condone tattoos. We don't condone piercings, and we do not under any circumstances condone alcohol. So there you go. That's all my that's my list of of things I don't condone. <laughs> If you get any mothers prop up throughout the series, just bear in mind, you've now got it li listed, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's like, those seasons are like, how are they letting the kids, I mean, what kind of message does this send to pe send to kids watching? It's okay to actually run your own illegal gambling ring. No! No, it's not! Okay, especially if you have to pay interest. But I just like, those scenes, I just watched them in complete disgust. Because it was literally just literally go, literally just picking up, or oh, like that bet, right, that one, that one, that, okay, that's bet, that slip. I was like, oh my god. It's like a day, it was like a day at the races. 
<sighs> and we have and we have seen shots of the betting rings at the at the pro at the races on on ITV races. We have every now and then show the shots of them. It's like they are manic. They really are. It's, it's just, yeah. But obviously, the people that are races are grown ups. Well, I mean, so they can do that. But these are just children, so they're not allowed. But we don't know the full stop. But <sighs> I just couldn't believe. I could not believe what I was watching. What am I watching? Interesting that we got to between with Jason Coach Clark because I was trying to work out what what Jace was doing. Is he is he is he into hockey? Is he is he there you because know, his dad made him? What what was what was what was it? And I don't think well, what's his story. I don't think last week how either because all who I did last week was just like a bitch fest with about his dad with Alex. That was that was fun, wasn't it? That was real fun. Yeah, that was like last week. So I think it was really great this week. We got a help how to sort of work out what Jace where Jace fits in. And that he actually does quite like hockey and would like to be a player. It's just the problem is his coach, sorry, no, his dad, who of course is Coach Cole, and the other epic, is sort of getting in the way and is kind of muscling in. And so, basically, Jay-Z is sort of losing the love for it. So, parents, stop muscling in on your kids' passions, all right? Okay, because if you keep muscling in, you... In, you're gonna ruin it, ruin the fun for them. They don't want to do anymore. Just, just be thankful they've got something they love, and just move on. All right. Stop messing on, on things that that your children love. All right. That's my message for you, parents, and fellow uncles and, and aunties like me. Don't muscle in on the, on your on your on your younglings' um, hot passions because it will just you'll just scar them for life, as we as we've been seeing uh, with Jace there. It's kind of interesting with that little contract we have. I was so happy because she also gets it. She also gets the struggles with having um, that impressions of hers. Because guess what? They did, guess what? They sent her for a care package, a book. She got no candy. <gasps> I know. I know. <clears throat> Angry ducky. Go on, do you go, go on, do your scowling face? Yeah. Angry ducky. She didn't get. She didn't get any candy. She got given a, a textbook. So. She so she gets so she gets it. She gets where Jace is coming from because she's big. Because she is well, not big. She actually is in that position of constantly being pressured by your parents to do well. And we saw that. Yeah, we saw that throughout last season. So she knows exactly how he feels and knows exactly what he is going through because she's actually been there, done that. Is wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so. They ha so they have. So it's not like it's just some sort of random pairing to try and make Evan jealous. They actually have got a common ground here. It's that both of them have parents who are trying to push them into things that they want and not what the children actually want. So yeah, so interesting. Yeah, so interesting to see as a whole there. So it'd be so interesting to see. Is this gonna be a love triangle? Oh dear. But um, I bet they, but I think if it does, if they do then get forward with the connection, it's only Evan's fault to blame because he's pushing his friends away. Cause he's more focused on, you know, doing well at Epic rather than hanging out with his friends, which of course is what Sophie wants. So, if so, we're not be surprised if Evan does sort of push his friends away and they go and find new friends and new relationships. So, uh, think carefully, Evan, because um, you might be losing your friends a lot quicker than you thought. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought it was so weird this week how Alex and Coach Cole, and I think you agree with me, Wild Wing. Yeah, it was so weird that they were both on the exact same page. They actually found something they agreed. And of course, for very for different reasons. Alex didn't want Evan in the game because she thought she, he would hurt himself badly. Coach Cole did, didn't want him in the game because I was. Because that would have gone how the process works, and also he wants his son to be in the game. So it's kind of nice. They actually found nice to have a temporary like truce to sort this issue out. But what I love is how oh by end episode ah oh, everything's back to normal, and they end up hate each other again, which then leads to obviously. <laughs> I can't wait for next week now. I'm I re I'm, right. I I don't know what's coming up next week, but I really hope that next week we get to see. Some hockey drills or some coaches in action, just because to see how Alex and Coach Cole cut. I'd love to see how their different methods clash with one another. I just would love to. I cannot wait for next week. Now it's going to be absolutely 
great. I just can't wait. I really, really hope next week we actually get to see some hockey action. Maybe that's like some drills, some te some techniques. Um, and we see the coaches do work, work and have them all heard over different groups. Each one of the different coach. I'd love to see how her act and coach calls methods clash with a little big fight. I'd love that. I can't wait. I'm just, I'm loving this. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just so, uh, I don't, you're, but, well, of course you're loving it. You're biased. You're biased. Your name's on the, on the, on the bloody pro, on the bloody title. You're biased. It's actually set in your home this year. They actually filled it at your home. Of course you're biased. You're going to love it. Whereas I'm a shark. So I've got to, so, you know, I've got different me, but I'm just like, I'm just so loving it. I loved it last year. And I just feel like we're just literally, it's not dropping. We're just, we're just getting good quality after good quality. I've got week in, week out. It's not like taking a little dip, which you would expect from some shows. It's just, the quality is just going up and up and up. It's just getting bigger and better. And I'm all for it. I'm just so loving it. Um, but yeah, so it's just so it's, so it's great. So yeah. So there's some really great things last episode. Some bad things, which we do not condone. Eh, eh, one bit. Nope. Eh, eh. But oh no, it was just like a really, really fantastic episode. I was just like so amazed by it. I just loved it. I was just, let's keep this going up, please. Just... Oh. And what I loved is how the, the ending, when we cut the credits, they literally got me hooked, ready for next week. I can't wait for next week now. And I really, really hope that we get to see Alex and Coach Cole trying their different methods and they fight about it. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for it. Excuse me. We love it. We absolutely love it. We're just so loving it. We hope you are too. It's just like, oh, just great. Really, really great, 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 great fun. Well, sadly, that's what we've got time for today. I know. <laughs> oh, don't ever let this end. Um. So, yeah, so thank you for joining us. If you've loved the show, do click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, can remember you click the subscribe button. That way, when you have subscribed, you never miss a single moment where you're calling class, including the episodes of Plus the Mouse. And, and to make sure you never miss a single moment, you can always, you can ring the bell and you might notify about all our la latest uh, content. Until next time, it's goodbye from Wow Wing. <laughs> and for me, until next time, I'll say is au revoir. Mm -hmm.